First of all, again, I don't believe that the U.S. is being more relaxed, quote unquote, uh, when it comes to export control and when it comes to uh, tech containment uh, kinds of policies. And I think that the Washington still sees China as a strategic rivalry, um, especially in the tech space. Um, they really worried about China catching up in that tech space and in some ways would threaten the U.S.'s national security. So I think the best scenario here that we could hope for is some kinds of parallel system where the U.S. is going to have its AI circle and China will be able to carve out its own uh, market and to be more self-reliant on certain technologies. Unfortunately, I, I wanted to be more optimistic and hopeful, but I really see that um, given you know, Trump's administration's current move, um, I do see that so-called so -called strategic decoupling uh, is on the horizon. So I think it's very important whether or not that Washington is going to change the, its attitude, China should continue to forge, for, forge ahead and try to develop its own technological capacity. And I think China has a lot of potential. China has plenty. Uh, the big funds uh, has finished three rounds of fundraising. When it comes to Thailand, China graduates, you know, 1.4 million uh, STEM students every year. China has very affordable uh, electricity, right, from renewable energies. And that would really be helpful to power, right, the AI development in, and inference. And I think last but not the least, we focus so much on the innovability. But I think in terms of the AI, the diffusion is also very, very important. And I think that's why you hear um, at Washington, you know, people are talking about how we can work with other countries to encourage more countries adopt the U.S. system, the U.S.'s technologies, because this kind of network effect is really what allowed the U.S. to take the road at this point, because the more countries utilize the U.S. technology, the more they are going to continue to use the technology. Um, but I think China still has the advantage, right? It has a very large market. The, the user case is huge. Just think about autonomous driving as one way of applying the AI technology. China is going to have 1.2 million autonomous drivers uh, on the streets by 2040, uh, which double uh, the amount that the U.S. is.